This is the Flying Machine Arena, also known as the FMA. Located at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich, the FMA is a platform for the study of aerial robotics, autonomous systems and control. In this video, we give an overview of this testbed and some of its capabilities. The FMA airspace is a 10 by 10 by 10 meter cube. Reinforced glass and net walls, along with padded flooring, provide an enclosed and safe environment. Offboard computing is housed in an attached control room, along with the hardworking PhDs. The nets and the glass wall can be retracted and the floor covering can be removed, allowing us to reconfigure the entire space for different purposes. Motion capture cameras mounted overhead provide post data for appropriately marked objects. Due to the size of the FMA volume, camera calibration is done by a flying robot that uses a degraded calibration to build a new one. Most research in the FMA relies on a fleet of small flying vehicles known as quadrocopters, built from readily available components. The onboard electronics are designed in-house, allowing us to perform acrobatics like fast closed-loop flips. For safety, we use soft, flexible propellers. These tend to wear out from crashes and from everyday use. To compensate, the quadrocopters learn their thrust maps during flight. Here is a quick introduction to the Flying Machine Arena software framework. We use a wizard to create a project. This includes components developed earlier, such as the low-level controller. We tell a controller to follow positions on a spiral. We can test our code in simulation, or, as shown here, on the real system. We use a utility called the Copilot for takeoffs and landings. This is our code. It gets too close to the net. The Copilot steps in, saving the vehicle. The Copilot also lends to recharge when the batteries run low. Research in the FMA has resulted in a number of demonstrations, including learning of aggressive maneuvers and synchronized choreography set to music. We can also balance an inverted pendulum, and we occasionally attempt to play a bizarre form of badminton. The quadrocopters can take what they've learned beyond the arena. <laughs> Today, the FMA is also used for a number of other diverse projects. For more information, please visit our website at www.flyingmachinearena.org.